Welcome to this webinar about tribology and plastic bearings. I will try to explain a little about the history of tribology and the link to polymer technology. Before we begin, I would like to thank you for logging in. You will notice the dialog box at the bottom of the screen where you can post your comments or questions during the webinar and I will try to answer them at the end of the session. So, tribology comes from the Greek words tribo, meaning I rub, and the suffix logi, meaning to study or knowledge thereof. The diagram here expresses the huge differences that can occur between two mating surfaces rubbing together. This is where the study of friction, wear and forces is so important when considering material choices for bearing surfaces. At a microscopic level, the huge differences between the peaks and troughs of mating components highlights the relevance and importance of understanding why tribology impacts not only industry, productivity, but our everyday lives. Tribology, although this term was only coined relatively recently, is the study of science and engineering of interacting surfaces in relative motion. It includes a study and application of the principles of friction, lubrication and wear, and is a branch of mechanical engineering and material science. Tribology is a study of surfaces moving relative to one another, a phenomenon that affects our lives in a multitude of ways. Although, as I mentioned, the term itself was not coined until 1964. There are images of tribology in action from as long ago as ancient Egypt, when the early tribologists used oil to help facilitate sliding of large statues. In addition to the more traditional applications of tribology, there are many more devices and other products that we would use regularly whose function rely on tribology. They include products and processes that arise in healthcare, sports, nature and more. In some cases, we want to maximise the friction, such as on the soles of our shoes, and in others, we want to minimise friction, such as when developing a bearing solution. Tribology does not necessarily have to be at the highest levels of technology to be effective, however. This example of a traditional wooden bearing manufactured from Brazilian hardwood secretes oil upon rotation. In this application, the tribology is particularly important as the wood has an additional lubrication via the means of water. Of course, this can have devastating effects if the swelling outweighs the original clearance and seizure occurs. Another consideration when choosing the relevant application materials. The Industrial Revolution brought on many advances in productivity, steam, mass production, automation to name but a few. With this came the requirement to increase machine reliability, something engineers are continuously striving towards. Traditionally, steel lubricated plane bearings were introduced as a standard. In plane bearing technology, tough, cheap and easy to maintain, whether brass, phosphor bronze, white metal or even cast iron. Years later, plastic was born from domestic use within furniture, clothing and tools. This tough base material became a revolution for not only its durability and versatility, it was also incredibly easy to manufacture. Although, of course, not all plastics are the same. But while all plastics are polymers, not all polymers are plastics. For example, rubbers more suitably today called elastomers. These are also polymers. They usually give the opposite of the desired effect of a plain plastic bearing. Plastic, often referred to as polymer, are made up of many similar units joined together, generally end to end, to create a long chain. There are two main types of polymers. Thermoset, often needs curing via heat or chemical process and cannot be reformed. And the more stable and easier to process, thermoplastic. The latter of these two is what we'll be referring to in this webinar. Polyamide, PA for short, also traditionally known simply as nylon, is one of the most basic materials. Nylon bearings are plain bearings that are molded from the material nylon. They do not require maintenance or lubrication. They're hard wearing and have low coefficients of friction. However, they do absorb liquid over a prolonged period of time. This can cause swelling and possible seizure in certain applications. Nylon bearings are used in a wide variety of applications all over the world, such as in automotive, machine tools, aircraft, etc. The advantages of nylon and plastic plane bearings are that they are low cost alternatives to conventional steel type bearings. Acetal as a basic material is a good general use product. It has good friction characteristics and is easily machinable when manufacturing special parts. Compared to nylon, it has better resistance to moisture absorption and demonstrates low wear in medium low load speed applications. From a tribology point of view and general rule, the benefits are lower wear and friction and therefore longer component life become apparent when using this material. 
It also has the added benefit of being food safe, especially when coloured blue, making it the regular choice in the food and packaging industry. Peak is a thermoplastic, as I mentioned previously. It makes this polymer reasonably easy to process and reform. It has excellent mechanical and chemical resistant properties that are retained at high temperatures. It is highly resistant to thermal degradation as well as by attack of organic and moist environments. Peak is used extensively throughout the food and drug industries due to its inert properties. Of course, this usually comes at a cost and in both its molded and extruded form can exhibit high costs than the more basic specification materials. The three previously mentioned materials are only a very small introduction to the most well-known base plastics used in industry. There are many hundreds of other variations, including tribologically enhanced polymer blends, which we will delve into now. As we now know, tribology is a study of friction and wear of two mating, mating materials rubbing together and their performance thereof. Moving on from traditional single component plastic materials, we have the more advanced and in most cases, higher performance materials known as tribopolymers. In the most basic form, they consist of a base polymer, as you can see on the left, it's crucial wear resistance, reinforcing fiber. This gives the material a strength and a solid lubricant. This of course is on a microscopic level when considering the reinforcing and solid lubricant materials. Iglador, the material name for Igus tribal polymers is made up homogeneously. Material support components can include glass fiber, carbon fiber, and even other polymer fibers, depending on the configuration effect of the material strength in many different ways. The solid lubricant is a function of microscopic abrasion. These solid lubricant, lubricating particles are designed to fill in the tiny crevices with their low friction properties, therefore increasing the performance and life of the relevant application. Materials used for this purpose can include PTFE, often known as Teflon, actually this is a trade name such as Hoover is to vacuum cleaning, graphite and uses pencil lead and again other polymer materials such as polyethylene. This continues the basis of a well-manufactured tribopolymer. Tribopolymers are manufactured in such a way as to support the properties throughout the material thickness, not in layers as in some more traditional materials. This is that the tribopolymer blend is homogenous. It ensures the materials which are developed are linear in both their wear and friction characteristics. Therefore, the predictability is maintained, eliminating the risk of catastrophic failure. The key points for homogeneous materials, such as the Iglador range from IGUS, are dry running, absolutely no external lubrication is required due to the internal solid lubricants within the materials, maintenance free, this is a result of the dry running aspect, high wear resistance and strength due to the thousands of reinforcing fibers within the materials. Resistance to dirt and dust, primarily because lubricants are avoided, which enables dirt particles to fall away instead of adhering to the lubricant coating on the shaft or the bearing position. This also enables a wider scope for special applications within the food and pharmaceutical industries. Tribopolymers are by nature corrosion resistant. However, in some cases, there are a requirement for extra special care to be taken when considering caustic solutions, heat and other adverse conditions. If developed precisely, a tribopolymer can combat all these elements whilst maintaining the low original friction, maintenance free, wear resistant requirements that a suitable material is demanded. The automotive industry is under constant scrutiny, not only to reduce costs, reduce emissions, increase productivity, but also reduce weight. Various tribopolymers are used extensively within the automotive industry to meet these criteria. They are lighter than traditional steel bearings by up to seven times combined with the environmental impact reduction of the elimination of lubrication, a correctly specified and tested tribopolymer demonstrates a positive solution for the automotive industry as a whole. Whether used under bonnet, within the engine, or even as a clean solution for the interior. In addition, used with the correct mating surface, a low friction tribopolymer is almost silent under normal running conditions. Every new material has a specific priority. Development determines this, and development through applications determine this too. However, it would be impossible to develop a new tribopolymer in every instance by the means of a real life customer application. So in order for a tribopolymer to meet and support the many thousands of demanding applications from low friction, low speed requirements to high temperature, low friction and high load demands, we have to consider the test laboratory. The results of a full test facility ensures we can produce new tribopolymers almost at will and subject them to any physical pressure. Without this, development for suitable tribopolymers would be impossible.
Our test facility within the Argus manufacturing base with its 250 meter square space and 52 test rigs has allowed us to cover millions of movements in not only many varying environments, but to apply speed, load, oscillation and rotation in unlimited combinations to ensure the total predictability of our triber polymers. This has proven to be essential for the confidence in triber polymers to grow to a new level. This is especially important when considering the thousand plus customer specific tests we carry out each year. This short video demonstrates the diversity of the requirements to ensure the reliability of triber polymers. Tests under oscillation, rotation, extreme loads, extreme speed, both in the linear and reciprocating movement on small diameter bearings from one millimeter up to, up to high load, slow movement on every very large diameter component. Every conceivable test is possible here. And this is the essence of plastic bearing tribology. Due to the predictable nature of triobstics and the results of thousands of hours of test data, we can predict the lifetime of an igloidor material. Where is linear if the environmental par parameters remain the same? For example, an application with constant speed and forces will exhibit a wear pattern re represented by a straight line graph. IGUS has online calculation programs allowing the user to enter application parameters from the basic inside diameter, length, load, speed, and temperature of the application. From this, the system will give a total lifetime in hours for constant use, including the wear pattern in microns per kilometer. In addition, we can use the knockout criteria to determine whether there are environmental influences such as shock load and impacts where the system would immediately remove the option for materials with a stiffer and therefore more brittle nature. A further knockout criteria at our disposal within the program is when edge loads occur. This is particularly important when considering more flexible materials. These, of course, can adjust to edge loads by the nature of their flexibility, but as a general rule, demonstrate lower load bearing capabilities. All of these options mentioned are easily selectable through the tick boxes and selection data input areas. As you can see, the icons give a clear indication to what each selection criteria is relevant to. Once these parameters have been set, the type of motion is entered. This includes options for simple rotation or oscillation and linear to combinations of these either together or one after the other. Almost as important as the triber polymer is its mating partner. In other words, the shaft. This affects the running of triboblemers by its finish. Too smooth and wear occurs through erosion. Too rough and wear occurs through abrasion. The hardness also affects the plastics in many different ways. And finally, it's thermal conductivity, as heat is probably one of the triboblemers' biggest enemies. Thus, the constant effort to reduce friction and therefore temperature. Other options at this stage consist of intermittent use, where there is a turn-off period, there is opportunity for the application to cool down, and therefore increase life of the application further. This information is paramount for the engineer when determining which product to use and other parameters of the complete machine such as routine maintenance and checks. As you can see here there is a huge choice of shaft and housing combination. This as mentioned previously affects the performance of triber polymers from a wear and dissipation point. Once the correct shaft is chosen the material lifetime data is shown. There are further options to enhance the choice based on cost versus lifetime. If an application does not call for extreme long life, a compromise can be made and therefore a cost reduction can also be taken advantage of. Of course, the final decision making stage comes at the point of order. This is also possible within the Igador lifetime calculation tool. Parts can be ordered directly alongside the mating shaft if required. This complete configuration can be saved to the user's computer and re-evaluated at a later date. Complete material and product data can be accessed through the system alongside the CAD data and catalogue product information. IGUS's Iglador triber polymers are now available in many different forms, whether it be a molded plane bearing, special molded component, bar stock or stock plate, even available as a 3D printed material from filament to SLS powder. Iglador materials have been developed to allow access to these fantastically versatile materials via almost any manufacturing method, from mass production, OEM machine manufacture, single source, one-off prototyping solutions, to instant component manufacture at home using an FDM 3D printing machine. This is why triber polymers should always be considered when developing new and innovative engineering solutions. The tribology behind plastic materials from IGA demonstrates the durability and diversity of application possibilities from agriculture to pharmaceutical, furniture manufacture to food production, from cars to clocks.
anything is possible. This video gives a good overview of our material diversity, our core product, which is Iglador, suits almost any application in almost any environment. The resistance to dirt, chemicals, moisture, and compliance within the food industry, combined with the massive size range within each material, offers the design engineer and the end user solutions within their industry type. Plastic bearing technology is the basis of maintaining low friction, low wear, lightweight cost savings whilst minimalizing the environmental impacts on a limitless range of applications. If we combine this technology with special housings, linear rail, spherical bearings, linear robots and articulated robotic joints, we have the complete range of IGAS Tech products manufactured and incorporating Iglador tribopolymers. From plain bearings to complete low cost automation in motion plastics, as you can see in this selection of videos, we have fully integrated linear robots. An example of our Iglador L350 and L500 materials developed specifically for very high speed. As you will see in the top left of the screen is the latest version of our Dryland W linear system, which has the ability to follow varying curves. This is unique in its operation using the low friction Iglador J material running on hard anodized aluminium a combination which epitomizes the tribology of plastic and its mating partners. Low cost automation using low cost robotics is now part of our development. We are combining tribology through mechanics with robotic joints and applying the electric drive technology to produce RoboLink D. This is a modular robotic system that can be configured from one to five degrees of freedom for simple repetitive activities. This concludes today's webinar on the introduction to Iglador tribopolymers from IGUS. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me either through the forum today or at a later date using the details on the screen. And remember, look out for further webinars on our motion plastics technology. Thank you.